Professor, do you think Edelgard will show up? Well, well. It's been a long time, Professor. And hello to you too, Dimitri. Edelgard. I did not think you would actually accept my request. Call it a win. Well then, what did you want to talk about? I will get straight to the point. Why did you start this war? There had to be a way to change things in your territory without the need for so many senseless casualties. It may be hard to believe, but this is the way that leads to the fewest casualties in the end. Don't you see? How could I? Countless people have already lost their lives in this conflict. The longer we took to revolt, the more victims this crooked world would have claimed. I weighed the victims of war against the victims of the world as it is now, and I chose the former. I believe that I have chosen the best path, the only path. Even after seeing the faces of those who have suffered the ravages of war, you would still force them to throw their lives away for the future? You are obsessively devoted to this war and deaf to the screams of its victims. You cannot change the cycle of the strong dominating the weak with a method like that. You're wrong. That very cycle is exactly what I have devoted my life and my power to destroy you. If after all of this, you believe the weak will still be weak, that is only because they are too used to relying on others instead of on themselves. Yes, perhaps someone as strong as you are can claim something like that. But you cannot force that belief onto others. People aren't as strong as you think they are. There are those who cannot live without their faith, and those who cannot go on once they have lost their reason for living. Your path will not be able to save them. It is the path of the strong, and so it could only benefit the strong. <laughs> so you consider me strong, do you? Even if one clings to their faith, the goddess will never answer them. Countless souls will be lost that way, living without purpose. And I can be counted among those who have died that way as well. But that's why I must change this world, on behalf of the silent and weak. And do you intend to become a goddess yourself? Will you steal the power to take action from the broken-hearted masses you claim to defend? The ones who can truly change the way of the world are not the rulers, but the people. Pushing your own sense of justice and your own ideals onto even one other person is nothing more than self-righteousness. Maybe it is self-righteousness, but it doesn't matter. Someone has to take action and put a stop to this world's endless, blood-stained history. Do you not believe in the power of the people to join together and rise up? Humans are weak creatures, but they are also creatures who help each other, support each other, and together find the right path. I have learned that humans are capable of all that from the Professor and from everyone in my life. I doubt a highborn person like yourself could know how the poor feel or what motivates them. This is nonsense, though I'm finally starting to understand how you feel. But that makes it even clearer to me that we can never fully understand each other. I feel the same. I finally understand. What you believe is right. Goodbye, Dimitri. Wait, Edelgard. There is something I must give you. This is for you. Use it to cut a path to the future you wish for, and I will rise up to meet you there, El. <sighs> El! So it's true. You're really going away? Going back home? There's nothing I can do about it. It's all happening so fast. I'm as surprised as you are. El. Um, here. I, I want you to have this. El, listen to me. No matter how hard things get, you can't give in, okay? You've got to cut a path to the future you wish for. No matter what. It's... a dagger? Why would you give me something like this? Oh, um... I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to give you. Edelgard? What are you doing? It's time to go. Hurry and get in the carriage. Oh, I... I'm sorry, Uncle. I have to go now.
I... I remember now. You gave me a dagger all those years ago. <laughs> I'm still sorry about that. I should have given you something that would have made you happier. Perhaps. At the time, I was quite flustered by such a dangerous gift. I left without giving you a proper response. And that was the last time we saw each other. True. It is a sweet memory. With a bitter ending. I'm afraid it will do no good to reminisce, Dimitri. That girl you knew back then is gone. As good as dead. But... I'll tell you now what I wasn't able to tell you back then. Thank you, my dear forgotten friend. Because of you, I never lost my heart. As for the future, that will be decided in battle. King of Fargus, as the Emperor, I shall await your arrival in Inbar. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Thank you. The Kingdom Army, having gathered new troops and significant strength, commences its march towards the Imperial capital of Enbar. In response to their movements, Emperor Edelgard orders her trusted retainer, Hubert, to the front lines to meet the Kingdom Army head on. The two forces clash in the city streets. Thank you. I am grateful. Oh, wow, thanks. I thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.
gates to the Imperial capital have been broken. All troops, storm in! The Emperor is within reach! Imperial troops are dug in across the city. Let's cut through them and carve a route to the palace. <laughs> the Savior King arrives, hands red with blood. Let's give him a royal welcome. Artillery! Once the enemy is in range, fire at will. Reinforcements will fly in shortly. Keep your focus and hold steady until they arrive. Let's make this quick. I've got no time for mercy. I'm your girl. next well met let's clean up <laughs> going for the kill <laughs> thinning their numbers you're relentless not what I was hoping for Put me in there. I'll have your head! Oh, yeah. Big win! Nice work. At your service. Leave it to me. I'm in. What's the plan? I am prepared. What's my strategy? I'd be honored. Shall we? I won't stop here. Too slow. I was just stronger. It's over. Ah! All is 
going to plan. Never doubted you. But it's you or me. Draw them toward the Opera House. Reinforcements will be here any moment. Missed. Stronger than before.
this quick. Ah! Not quite ready to die. I'm in. Let's think about this. What's the plan? You can do it! You can do it! Right there! What's my strategy? Shall we? I'd be honored. I am prepared. Honored. to slack off so they've stopped our reinforcements we will need to thin their numbers as well or else if house varley's troops arrive in time we may be able to flank the kingdom's army You must.
It's over. This could turn the tides. I'm fine. Give me strength. I had to protect my friends. So come. Burn until we meet. War is for the wealthy. We don't even have enough to eat. I'm sure the goddess won't punish us for a little bit of thievery here and there. What's the plan? Give the goddess my regards, yeah. This should do it. What's my strategy? I am prepared. Leave it to me. I won't stop here. Put me in there. I'd better keep up. Let's clean up. At your service. I'm your girl. Let's make this quick.
Hate me if you must. Closer to my goals. Die hard. Stop here.
did you expect? I will break you! Had to be done. I knew you'd come through. the only way. Cannot bring myself to kill you. You're a princess of Brigid, a hostage of the Empire. That was the truth in the past, but it is a different truth now, Shamir. I am the will of the Emperor. In that case, I won't hold back. Go for the kill. <laughs> not be keeping my promise. Give me forgiveness, please. Make this quick. I will not die yet. Put me in there. What's the plan?
What's the plan? Don't bother haunting me. I can always depend on you. I'm in. I'd be honored. I am prepared. Shall we? I'm your girl. Best to use this skill. At your service. Let's clean up. Feels good to fight for a cause. That was fun to watch. to me. What's my strategy? <laughs> You're a big help. But it's you or me. Careless. Ah! Oh. 
quite helpful. until we meet again. As I expected. I must steal myself. Enforcements, eh? And this time it looks like a fair number. It's almost a shame to kill you. Not even death will make you consequential. We must place our faith in Her Majesty. Her victory is everything. It's over. The way to the palace is clear. Let's move! Send your platoons to capture Enbar. There is to be no needless killing or pillaging. Understand? Yes, Your Highness. Edelgard awaits us. We will advance our main forces straight to the palace. It is still early, Professor. We are up against Edelgard herself now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We will advance our troops and confront her. We must strike down the Emperor and end this war. My life is yours, Your Highness. Let's win this and go back home in victory. I'll do the very best I can. On my honor as a knight, I will not lose. I know the Goddess is watching over us. Let's be sure to return home safely, all of us. As a citizen of Fargus, I will fight with everything I have. <laughs> Is this what a do-or-die situation looks like? You would best give it your all too, General. Go and win. Be the boar that you are. And don't you dare look back. Yes. I will... No. We will win this. Together. Everyone, move out! The time has nearly come. Yes, the anomaly should present itself shortly. However, 
There's no reason to fret. Besides, it's far too late to second guess. Now, assume your position. I can't promise your safety if you remain here. Very well. This pain is nothing, compared to what I have already suffered. <laughs> 